Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see the cable termination and spacing arrangement of LV switchgear side. So the cable termination is a very important topic for the LV switchgear. The K how to we terminate the cable and the what are the things we need to consider the cable termination. So those are the all the things we are going to see in this video. So the cable termination should be separated for the three stages. The stage one is a panel assembly and the stage two is a glanding and stage three is a cable crimping and connections so now we are going to see the stage by stage the first stage is stage one the panel assembly so panel assembly is a very important so the how to we assemble the panel the based on the first thing the incomer the incomer should be the in top or bottom the cable incoming so the main incomer is top or bottom and then all the outgoings are top or bottom also we need to consider and then cable termination spacing the final stage of one is the cable termination the how much the spacing should be required for the base on the cable sizing so actually the cable size will be uh, chosen based on the ampere rating so the here i show in the copper cable and then four core cables so the see the 10 square mm and 16 square mm and 25 square mm minimum required for the 10 centimeter spacing should be required the end the end of the mccb2 end closer the minimum 10 centimeter should be required the same like that the 50, 70 and 95 square mm should be required for the minimum 20 cm to 25 cm should be required for the clearance spacing arrangement. So this spacing should be the very easiest method to we connect the cable for the without any struggling of the connection of the cabling and crimping and connections. So next the cables of 120 and 150 and 185 square mm cables. So here minimum we need for the 135 square mm to 40 square mm cable. Uh, size that means the spacing should be required and then the final stage of the <coughs> uh, cable sizes are uh, the 3240 and then 300 and 630 so these are the cables of the single core the 50 to 65 centimeter should be required so these all the things should be the very standard size of the international sizes so this size will be required for the minimum cable connection spacing arrangement so most of the mccb should be the Below that 125 square mm cable is it's not problem if in case be above the 95 square mm cable is it should be required for the some extensions and then <coughs> We need to use the hardware sizes of uh, according the 150 is 10 square mm and then 12 square mm 14 square mm 16 square mm for the hardware size and then all the parts should be separate separation the face and neutrals should be need to separation barrier should be required and then the bottom plate should be required the separation and the insulation the this all the things should be we need to consider the final stage of the cable landing sorry assembly so after that the stage two the make the landing as per the cable size and fix the landing for the input and outputs that mean incoming and outgoings so the you need to gland the incoming and outgoing also and this is a stage two the glanding should be the choose based on the cable size the final stage is stage 3 so we need to uh, crimp the cable that means the crimping and the cabling and connecting to the cable for the according to the phase sequence the R, Y, B and neutrals after did the cable crimping and then you need to connect the cable for the as per the phase sequence and then this is the final stage of cable crimping and spacing arrangement so if you have any doubt please comment here and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you